Hi there, it's Vinny, Vince Moore, your mortgage professional on the Central Coast, Central Valley, and beyond. And today in this video, I'd like to just try and share uh, what the heck has been going on with interest rates over the course of these past couple of months. Uh, the coronavirus is certainly the catalyst uh, as far as uh, driving rates to their lowest point uh, in the imminent uh, recession. But uh, those things would have happened anyways. The reason being that um, with uh, large debt in any governments and what's going on here in the U.S. and countries around the world, uh, there's, uh, you know, we're at uh, highest debt levels ever and that always uh, represses, uh, debt represses interest rates. And so we were kind of heading, uh, heading there anyways and with the over uh, inflated stock market and um, the, also the fact that uh, world trade is uh, down and rolling over and CNI loans are uh, rolling over and shipments are rolling over. Again, uh, these things would have happened anyways, just a little further down the road. But with the coronavirus, what happened was the government uh, panicked, if you will, and they dropped the discount uh, a couple of times in as, uh, in as many weeks. And the last time they had dropped it down to zero. And uh, I can't tell you how many calls that I got from people on a Sunday, no less, uh, and texts from people um, friends and past clients wanting to know, you know, what's that going to mean uh, to interest rates? And um, you know, the economy was uh, kind of humming along pretty good at that time. And I don't know that there was a real need to do that. But um, what the discount is is actually the um, is actually the uh, interest rate that the government charges banks to to want to borrow money to be able to lend out. So we're not getting zero percent, um, <laughs> uh, but. Uh, the byproduct of that was, um, you know, was rates uh, dropping, and um, it a uh, couple a uh, couple of Mondays ago dropped uh, rates dropped to the lowest point ever, and um, literally overnight uh, the industry was just uh, inundated. Uh, there were like uh, two to four, or excuse me, three to four trillion dollars worth of loans now needing to be uh, uh, to be uh, um, you know funded, uh, underwritten, and and and. Uh, ultimately funded, but uh, the capacity in our country is uh, for loans is only about uh, two trillion. So um, to try and uh, slow it down or to try and stop it, slow it down, um, banks raise their rates um, uh, literally overnight, just jumped them way up to, to help to help uh, ease that uh, that pressure. But uh, the caveat is only only people that took advantage of those rates on that given day were people that were approved, uh, pre-approved uh, and approved and ready to lock in. So I, I'm always uh, advocating for people to get uh, get pre-approved. Um, it uh, doesn't cost you anything and you'll be in a position to, you know, to to lock when um, uh, the, the situation arises. So with what happened uh, with um, rates uh, dropping so low, again, kind of um, uh, kind of uh, absorbed uh, supply and demand and it kind of uh, absorbed all or, or wiped out our um, supply because of the demand. So um, what uh, the government has decided to do most recently was reinstate uh, the quantitative easing. Uh, that's what uh, the government was doing a few years ago to kind of artificially and simu uh, artificially um, stimulate the economy where they um, what they're doing is um, buying bonds so they've committed to uh, 700 uh, billion dollars purchasing 700 billion dollars in bonds from you know from banks and that'll uh, that'll do you know do the same thing as banks borrowing but now they actually have the capital and and oh well, I guess if they were borrowing at zero percent interest rate uh, it really was a moot point anyways but uh, so they're gonna buy 700 billion dollars worth of bonds in the future I think they bought the first 40 billion uh, last week and um, that's uh, already started to uh, already started to lower interest rates um, because of, of now you know the banks are having uh, they have money to, to lend again so um, anyways uh, that's kind of a, in the nutshell uh, as far as what's been going on but uh, I would suggest uh, again uh, get pre-approved because the uh, rates are anticipated to go down in the twos that's what most of the top uh, prognosticators, uh, you know, in the country are saying, and, and uh, the folks that are saying it are pretty pretty spot on as far as what what's uh, going to happen in the market in the future. So, um, 
if I could assist you or uh, with a, a refinance or purchase, now is also not only a good time to refi, uh, especially because um, that debt that I talked about that's uh, that's not only um, that's not only uh, debt with uh, countries, it's it's consumers. Our debt level is as high as uh, as it's ever been. And so with these rates low, you can take advantage of, of refinancing and consolidating your debt. So, but it's a great time to purchase as well and, and will continue to be so because uh, as rates drop, it just increases your uh, purchasing power. So um, anyways, uh, I wanna say uh, before I sign off, just wanna say thank you to Barry and Dan Habib of uh, MBS Highway and also to uh, um, Brian Stevens, Frank Array and Brian Stevens over at the National Real Estate Post. These guys do a great job of delivering what's going on in the marketplace day in and day out. And so I'm appreciative uh, for them to, you know, trying to help all of us uh, make sense of, of these nutty times. All right, uh, take care, God bless, and let me know if I could assist. Bye-bye.